gonna kind of jam forward here, and then I'm gonna twist. Remember, knees up the butt. I'm gonna twist, twist, chop, chop, chop right here, and I'm gonna get the cross wrist, okay? Just twisting and chopping. Once I get the cross wrist, I'm gonna cinch it up. Head and elbow, we're gonna dive in the hole. Big high leg over. Remember, elbow to knee, okay? Now, I want my right leg in, so as he's bellying down, my right leg sneaks in. All right, and again, I'm pulling on this elbow. He's bellying down, he pulls me on top. Okay, as soon as I get here, knees are crossed. All right, right here. And I just give him a little bit of, give him a little bit of pressure right here. His arms come out in front. He's trying to build his base a little bit. And then I just go right into my low roll half. Okay, I get to this position, boom, just pulling. Go ahead and finding that far knee right into my low roll half. All right, so we're just building a skill of getting our leg in out of a wrist tilt and then going right into a turn. Honestly, I don't care if you go into your low row half or any of the other turns we've done. I just want you to go right into a turn, all right? So if I jam, twist, chop, twist, chop, and get, look, I'm taking his chest over his hand. I'm not doing this. <coughs> Nobody's gonna give me their wrist like that. I'm gonna have to take his chest over his hand. Now I got his wrist, okay? Now I can get to my cross wrist tilt. Then as he bellies down, boots coming in. Again, I don't let go of this. I'm using his arm to pull myself back on top and get right into my ankles crossed. If I really want to carry that momentum, boom, I can just start going to this side, okay? All right, so I want you to get your wrist tilt, get your boot in, and get to a leg turn. Go.